Like if so, you do the song, let me yeah. do the story. You want to do the story? Mm -hmm. Okay, you do the story. It's <laughs> because of when when na nda la chapo when when na nda enu wa bolele nda onye no si ona ba. Hey guys, welcome back again to another video. Oh God, why am I always doing this thing? Welcome back again to my channel. Your girl Mabel here. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are tuning in for the first time, I've been wondering where have you? How come you're just finding my channel? You're most welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. You can go through my content. If you like it enough to subscribe, then I'll be so glad. Subscribe before leaving this place, alright? And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for your support and love. Always. Yeah, you guys. You've been asking for my daddy. You know, I did a video with my dad. If you've not seen it, I'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can see it. Before oh, yeah, you know. You guys just really, really loved the video. I really liked the way you guys reacted. I liked the comments you guys are just relating with the video <laughs> ah, my african people <laughs> you guys really related with the video and you asked that i should bring my father back again if i can and yes i'm so excited because my dad is going to be back here again i'm so glad and this time it's a different video entirely um i think that i'm going to introduce the video when i introduce my daddy he's coming okay just chill just keep us a second Talk to me, baby, if you still want to know how it Hard on me, baby, if you still want to know how it Hard on me, baby, if you still want to know how it Yeah Oh, I'm a girl, 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 Guys, guess who we have here again? <laughs> daddy, welcome. Thank you for coming again. <laughs> Thank you very much. My daddy is yeah. back here. <laughs> now, do you have anything to say? Yeah, well, um, I'm happy to be back again. And yeah. I'm glad that my daughter told me that all you people that had the opportunity to view what I produced with her, in fact, the comments were fantastic yeah, according to her. Yeah, you saw some now. And then, yes, and then she told me that you people wanted me once more. Yeah. But this time around, I'm going to give you what the African people do after their normal under mango tree uh, uh, lessons in school during the colonial days. Then when they get home in the evening, there is what they call moonlight play. In that moonlight play, Parents or the elder ones gather children, children under the tree, and then yeah. tell them beautiful stories. So the story we are going to look at today, some of you are familiar with it. Because yes. I'm not the custodian of old age. Yeah. Old age is for many people, but our children and the viewers are going to learn a lot from what we are going to do today. Mm -hmm. So... I'm sure a lot of them already know the story. If you are evil, you know the story about the Odala tree. You know the song. But we're going to revisit it today because, well, I heard the story when I was a child. And for kids, the story is actually very interesting. They love it. Like, kids love the story. I'm sure you know about the Odala story. And if you're not evil, you're wondering what Odala is. Odala is cherry. Okay? I am a fan of Odala. I literally live for Odala. I'm sorry. But really, every time I'm always looking forward to the season, I'm like, oh God, I, I really cannot. Sometimes I'm like, how do people abroad even stay without it? Because <laughs> it's a thing for me. I love Odala. Hmm. <laughs> so Odala is a particular type of cherry that, you know, people in Africa actually love. Some people call it Agbalumo. I'm too happy today. <laughs> Because my mommy in sent me my favorite thing, my favorite thing. Ah, Agbalumo. Ah, mm. 
<laughs> Yoruba has called it children, Agbalu, like and then the Igbos call it Odala. Even pregnant women don't. Yes, they don't in pregnancy they don't joke with children, it because it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So there's this thing about it. My dad says that this story um, um, tells. Oh, how did you have to say that about faith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you see, for those of us who are guardians, <laughs> we are trying to look at. I, I, I want to tell the story so that you people will tell me the lesson you learned from the story. Yeah. You see. Um, orphans or people who are not growing directly under the tutelage of their Biological biological parents parents suffer a lot of um, maltreatment maltreatment at home neglect and then uh, in fact I I, I, I won't be wrong if I say wickedness and then this wickedness in its own uh, um its own way has impacted positively or negatively yeah. on the child yeah. that is being Mouth at the face. receiving end yes. of this type of uh, yes. behavior. Yeah. So let us tell the story. The man who married two wives mm-hmm. and then uh, they were bearing children. Unfortunately, one of the wives died. had a daughter and died. So the daughter had to grow under the tutelage of her stepmother. So it was. And after a while, the breadwinner of the house, the husband, passed on. Mm -hmm. And then this issue of mind and not mind began to play in the home. The woman will now begin to discriminate by... The way he, she brings up these children. That is so, you do the song. Let me yeah. do the story. You want to do the story? Mm-hmm. Okay, you do the story. See, because <laughs> I've, told, because yes. I've told you the story. I'm not telling anybody the story. I hope, I hope you will do it well. If I don't do it well, yeah, yeah. So you okay. can always call okay, me. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> yes. So the the girl was now living with her stepmother and her step siblings as well. But this, the woman was maltreating the girl. Of course, the girl was an orphan because she had no mom anymore and no father as well. Yeah, yes. So, so the yes. Mo- the stepmother was actually maltreating her. They were not giving her good food. She was the slave in the house literally yeah and then the one that actually hurt the girl the most everything the woman did did not hurt this girl but the one that hurt this girl so bad was when the mother the stepmother went and bought udala which is which is the cherry we're talking about she went and bought it and gave it to her kids now according to my dad udala is a is a fruit for Kids, Kids, children yeah. love it so much. It's not something that you pluck, okay? Yeah. You, they naturally, stay under, under yes, the you tree. stay under the tree and the, the fruit drops and yeah. then they And then they it. run for it. And it's so sweet, you know. So those ones that you actually pluck are not sweet. It's very, very sour. So you leave it to drop on its own and stuff. This woman went to the market. She got Udala and then she did not give it to her stepdaughter. She gave it to her kid, right? Mm-hmm. And then they were licking the thing. They didn't give her... You know, but the girl was so pain. That thing really hurt her really more than any other thing they had more done. Than any other thing. <laughs> so what she did was she cried. She went and picked the seeds. Yes. From the ones that her step siblings already had, she took the seed. She went to a part of the house, the back of the house, yeah. Them. And then she the planted. Corner. Yeah, she was crying. Mm. She felt like oh, she's an orphan. Her her stepmother went and bought Udala from the market yes. and did not give her and stuff. So she planted the seed in faith. Believing God that she's going to get the whole tree. Since they did not give her the fruit, God is going to give her the whole tree. tree yes. Oh, Udala. <laughs> yes. So she went there after planting it, she started singing. Yeah. And the song says that, I mean, the meaning of the song is that this Udala should germinate. Ne- the tree, the plant. Day, day one, it took it the day, should germinate. day after day. Day after day. So the first day, she wanted it to germinate. germinate. So she started singing. That is yes. in the song. Okay. O da lam pue, da pue pue pue, da wunye na mo, da go to da la mafia, da la cha la cha la cha, da la cha pu wen wen ne, da la cha pu wen wen ne, da enu wa volele, da onye no si ona ba, da the the then she left it and went to sleep. No, it it she was there and observed it grow. Okay, that but is, I thought it was the next day when no, she, no, no, she, she saw that it had grown. That is to um, germinate. germinate. Yeah. She was there and saw it had germinated. It brought out the stem. 
<laughs> with, with even the 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 seed you itself see? is carrying it up because it will definitely drop yeah. just like if you plant um beans you know this will come up with the board and then fall off yes so that was what, what it was for the and first for day for the first day and she was happy she left she knew now that having germinated that the next thing is for the tree to so grow. grow and he, he wanted it all uh, it all uh, 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 just at a spur of the moment just immediately yeah. but it couldn't happen that day so the next day she came she back came to that back spot to at, that, the, at that same time at that, to the to the germinated uh, uh, plant. plant and began to sing Oh, da lam so, nda. so, 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 nda munye na mo, nda. go to da la nafia, nda. la cha, la cha, la cha, nda. la cha po mwen mwen ne, nda. la cha po mwen mwen na, nda. enu wa bo lele, nda. Nda. onye no si onaba, nda. At this point, she wanted the, the uh, tree to grow tall immediately, to maturity. And then all of a sudden the tree grew mm. up. She was happy. She left. Then the next day, because the, third day. The, the, the funny thing about this is that this young girl is each time the woman gathers the children for one special food or the other, she feels bad. Then the only out. place, yes, the only place she takes solace is just to go to that tree of hers. And so they thought they the same thing happened when the woman was with her children. She now left, went to the, the tree, and began to sing. Oh, da la mia, 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 nda munye na mo, nda go to da la nafia, nda la cha, la cha, la cha, nda la cha, pu wen wen ne, nda la cha, pu wen wen na, nda enu wa bolene, nda onye no si ba, nda. Then, at this point, for you to appreciate, the, what, she was, what she said the first day was for the seed to germinate. The second day, it was for the seed to, to the, for the tree to grow. Then the third Very, day, he wanted the, she, wanted. The, she wanted the fruit to, the tree the, the tree to, to bear, bear fruit. fruit. So let me even interpret it to you. Dalam, what's that? Mia? What was the last one? The bear fruit one? Mia, 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 mia. So that meaning the like bear fruit. Then mm -hmm. now she now goes ahead to say, Mune Namo, my, my father's wife went to the market. Go to Dala at the, the market. Lacha, lacha, lacha. Like they, they all licked, they all licked, it. licked it. They like, didn't give lacha. They didn't give lacha. You know, that's when, what the song is. When, when there was, when when the, the, the child, the, the girl was ignored. Yes, she it, doesn't have a father. She doesn't have a mother. You know. So each time on the fourth day. She now went there again and started And she singing. was praying for the dollar to, yes, to get ripened. To get for the fruit. Because of course the bread fruit. So yes. she wanted the fruits to be ripe. Be right. So she started singing. Singing. Oh da lam cha. Nda cha cha cha. Nda munye na mo. Nda go to da la nafia. Nda la cha la cha la cha. Nda la cha po wen wen ne. Nda. La cha po wen wen na. Nda. Enu wa bo lele. Nda. Onye no si onaba. Nda. The fruit got ripe. Happened. she became very very happy. very happy then she went back, back again, again. Then, she, the, then on the fifth day she that was the day drop. she wants this other drop and because you cannot climb it you can't plug it, it. naturally it's nice. it is a traditional it. food that must drop yeah for children so on that day she now went and started singing Oda lambda Da 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 nda munye na mo nda go to da la mafia nda la cha la cha la cha nda la cha pu wen wen ne nda la cha pu wen wen na nda enu wa bo lele nda onye no si ona ba nda so the fruit began to fall and then drop drop so she so just much. ran in and called the the, the, the siblings and said all of you come, let us enjoy. See Odala and Oda, you know, so all of them were happy. And then they, they, she started singing again. Odala, da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He wanted more of the fruit to drop because yeah. other children ran and Oda, you know, yeah. so there was plenty. Everything. There was plenty for every child. 
chapter 8. Yes. And that is the end of, of the, story. the story. You have a lot of lessons to learn from this. Yeah. From how she was uh, uh, treated in the home. And then when she has just that little opportunity for the tree to have produced, she did not say, no, it is mine. She did not confirm it. She invited everybody. everyone. Tell me the lesson you learned out of this story when next we see again. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was such a story. You know, I'm sure my dad has told you guys that you should tell him the lesson that you have learned. But I'm right here. I'm going to tell you what I have learned from this. I've learned that, first of all, because you have received wickedness does not mean you should also share wickedness okay you've received bad treatment but you should still share love okay that's not even the one that hits me or the one that i'm really interested in the other lesson that i have learned is that you know not a lesson basically an advice if you have anyone that you are taking care of there's no your biological child please treat that person with so much love and respect let me tell you growing up i had people we had people that lived with us you would not like my uh, my mom's first maid her name was franca they literally used to call my mom mama franca they used to think oh mommy franca mama franca they actually thought franca was my mother's first child because you would never know she was not even from my place i think she was from she is from Benue state my parents treated her so well that at the time she grew up, she's actually a nurse right now. And when she wanted to get married, she told the husband to be that if she doesn't find my parents, then the marriage is not going to hold. We had left the city where we were at the time. We looked to another city. She took her husband all the way from Lagos, went to that city to look for us, Kaduna. She didn't find us. She, locate, she actually located my parents to the, the present city where they live with her husband. And she said, these are my parents. Her parents are actually still alive, you know. So if you have anybody, you don't, you don't even know tomorrow. You don't even know if you're going to be alive to take care of those kids, you know. So I would say that no matter who you are and no matter who is living with you, show that person the kind of love that you would want anybody to show you. The kind of love that you would show your own kids. Do not give them better things and then you give... Do not give your kids better things and then you give them things that are not so good, you know. Just treat everybody right, all right? That's what me... That's the part I want to tell you guys. It's not like it's a lesson. I have other lessons, of course. As kids, when they tell us the story, they always ask us, oh, what's the lesson you've learned? Tell us, what lesson have you learned? I've learned a lot, but I don't want to share because my dad wants you to tell us what you have learned. So drop it in the comments. Let us read. My dad, my dad is actually subscribed to my channel. So once in a while, he checks up on this channel. So maybe he'll just check and see your comments and probably respond to you himself, okay? So I'm sure you know this with that story already. Is this the same story you know? Because there are lots of, there are different versions of the story. So is this the same version that you know? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Have you heard this story before? What do you think about it? Drop everything in the comments. Let us ch chat, okay? And yeah, guys, I want to thank you again for 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 of you. I wanted this thing by the end of 2019, but yeah, I got it. But on the 4th of January 2020, which is not bad at all. I am so grateful to all of you. Thank you. Those that share my videos, thank you so much. Every one of you, 5,050 of you, I am super grateful. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed and you've been watching me and you love my content, please do not leave without hitting the subscribe button. And then give this video a thumbs up and then just wait for me. I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. Bye.